is the next day again. Uh, it got laid on me. The battery pretty much ran out on the on the phone. So from when the battery went down to now, there's uh, there should be a bit of progress now, as you can see. Everything's going well. I was about to put the linkage on, and I can't get this little lever off. This screw is like solid. I can't get it off. So what to do? Uh, I'll try and get it off while it's still on there. Worst case scenario, I'll have to take the carb off. And um, I don't know if I can drill it out or cut us. It's just the screwdriver just can't, won't pick it up. And it looks brand new too, so I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if I stripped it. I don't know if it was half stripped before. Uh, so yeah, so we'll go through the steps on what to do when you strip something like that. My next step was maybe to put a, uh, a soldering iron onto it. Because there's possibly some um, Loctite on it. So if I put a soldering iron on the end, that should heat the screw a little bit. Hopefully, and then I can crack it. We'll see what happens. See what this does, eh? If anything, I've never done this before. I have heard it online that, that this can work. So we'll chuck it on for a bit. Let's see what happens. Well, well, well. It actually worked. Bit of the uh, soldering iron. There you go. I might change out this little screw. Because, um... Yeah, she's a little dodgy. It doesn't even feel that all that hot, but it was enough to to do it. Yeah, there's uh, there's Loctite on there. That's for sure. Now this is for all those people who are having issues. Just some not quite right with, with the throttle brake situation. Uh, what you do is you just loosen these things off. These little grub screws off the little collets. Oh, that's cross-threaded as well. They're stripped as well. That one's not stripped. How are we going to get this out? This is where you got to decide when you can't get a you can't get a a screw or a bolt, whatever. How committed you're into it, and you got to be ready to pretty much replace that part if you can't do it. So in this case, that little collet, there was no chance of me undoing it. Um. It was just it was stripped in there. I couldn't undo it. So I pretty much just got the Dremel. And uh, I cut the little collet off. Because it's only aluminium, I think. Alloy. So that came off easy. But I did have a spare one. So what we'll do now is we'll reset it up. And go from there. What I might do is just get a get a bit of fine sandpaper. Because the smoother this is, the better it is for the, for the whole thing. Uh, now in the past with these things HPI might be different though because it looks like the holes bigger already but a lot of the times this gets quite sticky so when you back off throttle it'll stick like at the moment I can feel something there I think where I try to get that off actually that's where that collet was screwed in so I might just sandpaper it smooth but if you got like a Roven or a King Motor and it feels sort of sticky you just drill out that to the next size up 
next size up hole and then it's a bit looser which means that then if the dust gets in there it's got room to get out instead of just jamming it full of dust so I'll put this back together give it a quick sand put it back together and we'll see like I said if you're gonna to commit to try and do or try and make something right even though see I could have left that as it was and I still would have been able to fit it but at some stage if I wanted to take it off or if I needed to adjust it I couldn't do so so that's my reasoning behind trying to fix it now so that in case I do need adjustment then I can do it um, otherwise you'll get to a point where all right everything's good then you want to adjust it oh I can't do it because that bloody collet's stuck so yeah I, I just prefer to make things right and then you know you're, you've got all avenues to adjust or make it right or better all right to start off with I'll make sure that um, the linkage where the threaded piece is on this plastic thing is right up to about here you can sort of see it so don't have it hanging out and don't have it so it's right on the end it's going to fall off have it so that you think roughly about there to that line then you've got a good bite on it all right so what we want to do is just fit it as is with the collets loose Put in the, the grub screw for the brake lever and just offset it a bit because otherwise this piece will hit the rear upright so just offset a little bit and so then it doesn't drag against the clutch housing as well I've done this up here on the cam on the lever uh, I'll make sure that this lever is uh, vertical make sure that's right angle from the servo uh, then I uh, screw on the lever to the carb and then that gives you this so then it you've only got this movement here so this this one here is your throttle that's your throttle so wherever you lock this in is when your throttle starts so if you set this up too far you're gonna miss out on that much throttle before it grabs it that's actually full so that's how much throttle you got um, so really if you put it too far you're not gonna get anything so you butt it up here but you don't push on it because then you'll start revving it all right so you just touch it and do it up all right and the other one
it's and the other one's pretty much just the that spring is sort of a returns the brake a little bit depending how much pressure you put on that spring so I'll just put down just so it touches the spring So that's it. I don't know if this battery flat, but it's not going very far at all. That's all good now. It's opening, it's breaking. And we're going to make sure is now the in points. Is when you put full throttle, see that flat piece there? Gotta make sure that touches. And at the moment, it's not touching. So that's when you do up your EPAs, which is your endpoints adjustment. So I pretty much press it. I'm already on the EPA on the, the controller. And then I'm just pressing the uh, the throttle, and then I do it up until I see that lever touch the bottom. And once it touches, you want to make sure that this doesn't try and push it further. If your linkage bends out of whack, it means you're trying to push the, the throttle too far out. So at the moment it's perfect. It's hidden the flat there. That beautiful. See that? It's not trying to push it further than that. Now that's a spot on setup. And then your brakes. You want to make sure your brakes don't try and pull too far either. And at the moment, it seems like it's good with the linkage. I'll spin around the other way to show the brakes. So as you can see, the brakes are not. It's not trying to rip it through or anything. It's pretty good. Once the wheels are on, I'll double check the, the brakes again. But at the moment. Good to go. That's pretty much your linkage sorted. If anything plays up in anything, all you got to do is just undo these. Make sure that your your trim's on zero and that's on straight. And make sure that your that this this plastic piece hasn't got the the linkage hanging out of it go in so it's only that that little piece like I said and that's it um, I don't really like this linkage because for one it catches like it marks the tank so it's dragging on the tank and then when you have something like this it's gonna drag up against it so I might have to turn it around a little bit but then it's squashing the... No, it's not too bad. It's not bad. If I have it down like that, 
might wear out the foam a little bit over time. There you go. So, yeah. so that's how you set up your linkage anyway.